Hi, it's quarter to six Saturday evening. What did I do today? Today, the whole family, we went to Carolyn's Cafe in Redlands, California. They're famous for their coffee cake. And I know it's the same recipe as I use. I could tell that it is by the taste of it. Except they serve theirs a great big honking piece that's all really warm, almost hot, with a big dollop of butter melting all over it. Of course, who's who's not going to like it? I had the two eggs and the country fried potatoes and a piece of ham. Really good. Re it was excellent. Per cooked perfectly. Very good. And then we came home, and for some reason I was tired, and I had to lie down for about an hour and a half. Brian went off to uh, someone he works with, baby shower, and Spence and, and Ashley were at home. And I got ready to go to the Oktoberfest in Redlands. I had purchased a ticket thing for it, and uh, thought I'd go. It said that they had things for kids and everything. Not really. They had a lot of beer sales, and they had some Mexican food sales, uh, some bratwurst sales, and a big soft pretzel sales. Soft pretzels were $8. A beer was $7. Well, I mean, you know, they got to raise money, and everything's so expensive. But anyway, they had this band, probably about 20 people in it, a couple old ladies, and the rest were old farts, old men. They're the Optimist Club, I believe, and... Um, Oh no, it's SoCal for South California. SoCal Polka Band. That's who they are. SoCalPolkaBand.com. And picture a junior high band just looking at music for the first time and having the director go, come on. Num, 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 num. And they're like, squeak, 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 squeak. But it was fun. They did the chicken dance, and I got up. They said, anyone come up here and chicken dance? I got up to chicken dance. And I was calm, calm, you know, come on, come on, to little kids and stuff. It was a lot of fun. And then they did the loopy, 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 which is a, kind of a hokey pokey thing. It's a lot more physical, though, up and down and, like, toe touches and kneeling and, not kneeling, but squatting and, touching your knees and clapping and all kinds of stuff. I'm taking my sandal off if you're wondering, what the heck is she doing? Oh. We sat on hay bales and I have hay all over the place. <laughs> hey! Okay. I had a beer. S-T-A-T-E-N. Staten. I don't know who. It's supposed to come from Munich. It was okay. Uh, most of the time was spent listening to the band. They played some things from Sound of Music. They played the Pie in the Face polka from The Great Race. They played the Prune Song, which is a, a bohemian song where people are picking prunes, you know, they're singing. It's a prune song. And I play it all, all the time. So I recorded it, and I sent the recording to my brother, David, to see if he can figure out what they're playing. <laughs> I was flirted on by two guys. One was about, I don't know, 45 years old, 50, maybe, Mexican guy, and uh, he was drinking. He comes up, I'm wearing like a bluish dress, and he goes, oh, I love blue. I love blue, my favorite color. I like your dress. And I thought, well, thank you. And I have an apron on with it. And he goes, are you a chef? <laughs> no. And I guess he got a good look at my Gesicht, my face, and wandered off. <laughs> and then as I was leaving, one of the guys in the band, I think he played saxophone. I'm not sure what he was playing. Saxophone, I think. He's trying to get my attention like crazy. Hey, hey. Hey, Valley Girl. Hey, Valley Girl. He goes, thanks for participating and getting up and dancing. And, oh, it looked like you had a lot of fun. I said, I did have a lot of fun. 
I said, you know, I might come back tomorrow. And he was all smiles. And most of those guys were overflowing in their later hosen from too many years of drinking beer or eating browers. I don't know. But uh, it's a SoCal, S O C A L, SoCal Polka Band.com. But uh, it was fun. It was nice. It was very pleasant and a nice way to spend an hour or two. So I might go back tomorrow. I took, did take footage, but it's going to take me, uh, something cool might happen tomorrow, you never know. On the way back home, I saw a guy laying on the highway, motorcycle was all smashed up. I don't know if he was hit or if he hit the wall or what. There were people standing around him, of course this, the traffic was at a standstill. But the traffic's been insane here lately. What do you think? Huh? You have something to tell your friends? What do you want to tell all the people? What? Upward and onward? 